One of the greatest educational principles is taught to us in the beginning of this week's parsha, according to Rav Shimshon Raphael Hirsch, not only how to raise children in the best possible way, but indeed, says Rabbi Hirsch, how to raise a nation, a people. Rabbi Hirsch points out that looking at the verses of the Psukim, everything around these children was different. Their birth was totally different, each one. Their qualities were totally different. A hunter, a studious individual, how their parents related to them, everything was different, except for two words, one period of their lives. It says in the beginning of the parsha, Vayigdelu Hanarim, and they grew up together in the plural. Says Rabbi Hirsch, based on the Midrash Rabbah on this pasuk, is a criticism of the way in which Yitzchak and Rivka brought up uh, Esau and Yaakov. Of course, in parentheses to say, we have to be very careful about criticizing the great Gdolei Israel uh, as they appear to us through the generations. And indeed, Rabbi Hirsch explains in this pasuk and previous pasukim how sometimes highlighting, criticizing to highlight an educational principle that we can learn from, indeed does not undermine the value of our Gdolei Israel, but indeed enhances it. But that is for another topic. The criticism, says Rabbi Hirsch, is both of them grew up in exactly the same way. At birth they were different, and when they became 13 years old they were different, which is apparent from the Psukim. Vaig de Luanarim, but in their education, until they were 13, before they were teenagers, everything about them was the same. They went to the same school, had the same education, and were brought up in exactly the same way. Says Rabbi Hirsch, of course, this contradicts the very well-known principle of Proverbs 22. Chanoch Lanar al Pidar Yes, educate each child with equality and passion and love, but in a different way, Alpi Darko. You could almost not find two, two people, two twins, as different as Esau and Yaakov were. But, and what they so desperately needed was very different education. Seeing the difference in each one, loving them equally, relating to them equally, but how you educate them and in which way you push them and guide them needs to be totally different. And because, says Rabbi Hirsch, they grew up in the same way with the same education, this was partly to blame for the way Aesop turned out. Not only his natural qualities, but the fact that he received a, a, a less than ideal education. This, of course, is very difficult for parents. All parents find it difficult because our children, more than anything, so often want justice. They want it to be fair. The moment they see us relating in different ways, even if we feel equal love to all, but we, are, we relate in different ways, give different presents, prod each kid in a different path, it often seems to compromise the principle of fairness and children have a very difficult time with that. Notwithstanding this, it is, imp it is imperative for parents to know to somehow find a way to find the uniqueness of every child and raise each one differently, often in different schools with different methods of education and uh, even though it may seem to the children not always fair. Finally, I want to say, says Rabbi Hirsch, this is true not only in how we raise children in the family, in the microcosm of the Jewish people, but also the macro. Says Rabbi Hirsch, look how Yaakov blesses his children at the end of the book of Bereshit in Vayechi. Each one of the tribes gets a very different and very specific blessing. Some of them, like Yehuda, are blessed to be royalty, to be kings. Others, Levi, to be Levim, to be priestly servants. Others to be fighters. Others to be farmers. Others to be business people. Each one gives, receives a specific blessing because Rabbi Hirsch says the Jewish people has to be made of, different, out of, made of different forces to educate each in their own way. And perhaps the overriding message in education, be it of the individual family or the Jewish people, is that unity is not un uniformity. Equality is not uniformity. We love all the same. We our attitude to all is the same, but how we raise each child and the space we find for different parts of the people within the Jewish people needs to be different one from the other to nurture those qualities which distinctly represent those person and through the differentiation and through the difference, the dignity of difference in Rabbi Sachs' words comes together a beautiful family and indeed the family of the Jewish people. Shabbat Shalom.